I've been doing a lot of biking, as you can see from the channel. That's what the channel has been a lot of um, the past three months. Cycle cross is ending, so what are we going to do? It's winter and it's uh, dark most of the time, so a lot of my rides I haven't been filming lately because it's so dark it's too hard to get anything good from those uh, rides. I have gone for some runs. I used a, a headlamp that I had for uh, backpacking that was for around camp and it just wasn't strong enough. And I got some new equipment and so most of it came in today. So one of the first things I have here is a Zephyr Fire 100. So this is Ragnar approved. These run overnight. So this flashlight is a flashlight from Nathan. And so the cool thing about it is that um, it goes in your hand. It's basically charged by USB. It has a little elastic grip on the hand that will let you hold it in your hand easily while you're running without having to, you know, kind of keep a grip there, a tight grip the whole time. Not only does it have a, a white light on one end, but for those behind you, it has a red light on the back end. So people can see the red light. Runs lately have been, have been in the dark, so with my rod, the next thing I got is a Nathan Streak vest. Now, I heard about these from Endurance Planet. The Nathan vest is your standard reflective vest. It's supposed to be lightweight and vented. Doesn't feel, I don't feel like you can see me very easily. I want to get this, so it's got a couple clips on it, I guess, if you want to put additional lights. But I can use this when I bike, or I can use this when I run to basically be seen better. Now, the last thing I've got is a Petzl Tipkina. This is uh, a headlamp. The idea behind this one, so basically if you put it on the 20 loom, so low mode, it goes about 20 meters and it's, it will last for 180 hours on what looks to be three triple A's. And if you put it on uh, 80 lumen, so the high mode, it will go about 35 meters and it will last for 120 hours. Now, the thing is, why do you want two flashlights? Well, one of them is I want one on my head so I basically have a nice view of everything in front of me, a high level, and then this one is more for spotting things. I've also heard holding a flashlight down lower. Some people actually will get two um, of these and they'll take one and some of these models are big enough that you can open them up and put them around your waist and they'll have a low beam and a high beam up above and this highlights the trail in front of you to show you uh, roots and depressions so you can see the shadows so I'm hoping that um, this will solve that video so thanks for keeping up with my adventures and uh, I love to hear from you in the comments below so if you have any questions then uh, let us know so, thanks.